Byron Cope on Sports. Brought to you by The Meadows, the new big scene for family entertainment. Now here's Sports Illustrated's Myron Cope. Good morning. Lock up the hot pastrami because the Denver Broncos are bringing the champion Jewish chow hound to Pittsburgh. We'll have a comment in a moment. When the Denver Broncos go up against the Steelers Sunday, their starting defensive right end will be a lad who weighs 270 but runs the 40 in a blazing 4.7. Yes, Lyle Alzado, in his third year as a pro, has become a superior defensive end, and because he's also a nice Yiddish boy chick who's got the kind of appetite that makes a Jewish mother happy, we'd better have a little appropriate music to tell you about Lyle Alzado. So... <laughs> Once upon a time, Lyle Alzado left his home in the Bronx for, of all places, Yankton College. Yankton, South Dakota had been a quiet place, but when Lyle Alzado sat down to eat, it was pandemonium. He astonished the local yokels by eating 18 chocolate cream pies at one sitting, and from one end of Yankton to the other, they cried out, the kids must sugar <laughs> Yes, and he regularly consumed two dozen eggs for breakfast, but nobody minded because he became the first football player ever drafted by the pros from Yankton College. And back in the Bronx, his mother Rose cried, That's my boy chick! In his very first year, he became a starter for the Broncos, and he has terrorized Denver with his appetite. Just two nights ago, a drive-in restaurant held a hamburger-eating contest that attracted 400 entries. But when Lyle Alzado walked through the door, the mob shrank with fear. Rose would have cried out, that's my boy chick! Her boy chick immediately destroyed the field, establishing a new speed record by downing 10 deluxe double patty burgers with lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion in 30 minutes flat. So lock up the corned beef and gefilte fish, because here comes Lyle Alzado to Pittsburgh. And lock up the lasagna, too, because, hey, like Franco Harris, Lyle Alzado is half Italian. For racing at the Meadows, where the big payoff, Big E, is back on the board, this is Myron Cope on sports.